I want to say this video is sponsored by my channel sponsor, Frank Kelly. Guys, click, click the link below. Frank is sponsoring this video. Appreciate you guys watching. Let's get on with the show. And this battery's dead. And I just got it out of the charge here. This battery is toast. Well, we're down at the big dam. This is where we put the game camera. I think we've caught 11 beaver now. Got my youngest daughter, Olivia, with me today. I noticed we had nothing over here. I can see the trap. I gotta go over there and lower the trap down a little bit. Well, it looks like the water level has dropped probably four inches since yesterday. The beaver are not repairing the dam. She's flowing pretty good through there now. There might not be anybody left to repair it. So I'll get over here and check, see if we have anything. If we do, we'll uh, pull the game camera and see what we got on it. I brought another game camera to put on another set, probably put it on that one over there and see if we can see something swimming around. Well, I don't see my trap over here. I don't even see my rebar, so I hope it's still there. Maybe it wasn't sticking out. Maybe it, I hope it's still there. Hopefully one of the locals didn't find my trap. From here, I can't, can't see any of it. Huh? The bar. the bar is there? Good. Good. Because I couldn't see it from where I was at. Uh, something probably on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely see the bar now. Can't make out. There's one old set of beaver tracks. There's some raccoon tracks, so that's not good. We're just down stream from the dam. We got coon tracks. Well, feels like it might be heavy. We got beaver. And he is. The most chewed up beaver I've ever caught, I think. I don't think I've ever had a beaver with a tail like this, guys. Maybe I should have brought the old game camera over here and put it on this one. That's a nice beaver. I'll show you guys that tail here in a second. Our bed's all sealed it in. Some more mud back up here. Gotta adjust for the drop in the water. Traps back in. Slider can slide. Caster. I can see it there, but
Here, look at this tail. I've never seen a tail straight up shoot off like that. That is insane. It's all nicked up. He's, uh, yeah, there's some fighting going on in here. You would think the fighting would, that might have happened before I got here. You would think the fighting would be settling down. Oh boy, he's no good. Meat in the fur is gone, ruined on this one. He's been destroyed by something. See that gash. Never seen such a thing. We'll get him up to the, we'll get what we can get off him. That's crazy. He's been beat up. By something. Here's a better look at that tail. All chewed up. He's got a huge gash here. Looks fairly old. That's crazy. Poor little fella. Got his ass handed to him by something. It's been like <clears throat> three days since I've had a catch in there. I just usually park right here, look off that cliff. I can see my trap setting down there so I don't have to walk down every time. Because right over there is the dam, but you got to go around this freaking creek right here to get here. But, you well, know, we got one. Now we're going to go check that pond. You want to drive? Check the pond and see if we got anything up there. That pond's been a pain in the ass. All right, stay tuned, guys. Live action, kick, kick! check the traps over here Liv and I'll be right back down that way hey y'all you headed down that trail there step right in my 
where it's nice and down. So you can have better place to sit. Wow, I ran into your pole. <laughs> ran into your pole. You can see around over there, it looks like. See the little channel? Mm -hmm. I gotta check that out. Might be able to put a 330. That might just be a spring, though. Cut that beaver down. We went to the pond. There wasn't nothing. Cut that beaver just up, just downstream from here. So we went. We took this from the pond. We had that raccoon in there, and we're gonna put it here. We went up that way, and there's a bunch of chewing. And decided to come back closer to. There's like a hut right down here. We're gonna try to get the beaver swimming back and forth. They got a lot of water build up right here in this area, so. <laughs> There's the blood there. And we got a junk car over here in the hillside. This is kind of cool. Back in the day, they used to just yeet them off of the hill and use them for erosion control. I'm thinking, right? Here looks like a great spot. Oh. This kind of guides them right to where this little slide right here will guide them right to where you kind of want them. They can climb anywhere they want. They can climb up over there and come down here. They're just trying to get them right here though. Swimming into the <laughs> There's a freaking ledge right there. And I'm getting water in my waders again. Hole number three. Waders are going down. I just need to make it another 27 days. With them. I'm gonna put our TS85 right here. You guys know me, I cover up this circle. I like to stick the stick right in the front a lot. Let them try to pull that stick out. Alright. You guys uh, made it this far? Go check out the previous videos. I think this is number eight or nine. I can't even keep track. There's a bunch of them. They kind of each one kind of leads to this point. We're at 12 beavers in this creek right here. Stay tuned, guys. Oh boy. What the hell did we catch? What the hell? <laughs> we didn't catch anything. We had a beaver skirt around. The water was dirty last time I was here. Apparently, that beaver made this gigantic hole. Is our trap is still set. I did not notice. I could see something swim off of that. Wow, I did not notice that. Sun is out a little bit different. Huge circle here, I did not notice. That was from that last beaver, he was alive, but I don't know if you guys can make out them tracks. Something went that way and then went this way. We might get them crossing over here. We're going to fluff this up a little so they won't go out right there. Take all this little debris here. Right there. 
That'll kind of keep them from climbing out right there. Maybe they'll come out right on our trap if they do happen to have one more come through. That's it for the Missouri line, guys. I appreciate you guys tagging along. We've got a crazy beat up beaver. Putting a couple of sets in. Stupid raccoon. Wanted to fight. He'll know next time. He'll be like, I'll just chill. Let him let me out. Now he knows. He's learned. But, like I said, we we're not after raccoons, so we just turn them loose. Whatever we don't target just gets released. So, stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.